Hey YouTube, so, I have my hat on. Um, I just want to review quickly uh, on this book by Lily, A Lily Allen, is the publisher. I can never pronounce that name. No. Llewellyn, Llewellyn. I give up. So, this is Crystal Ball reading for beginners, easy divination and, <coughs> sorry, interpretation by Alexandra Charan, 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 Charan. Yeah, um, I've read this book. I have some of it in my book of shadows. I find some of it useful, yet some of it really, really, I don't want to say not true, but unuseful. Like in here, for instance, they say crystal balls have to be see-through. My crystal ball, if you guys have seen it, my, I have a cell, I think, yes, yeah, I have a cell night crystal ball. I have a whitish sort of, not clear, but almost clear. I forget the name of it all of a sudden. Can't remember the name. So there's that, and I also the one I like to use right now is a orange one. Um, she says it has to be caught like this necklace I'm wearing. But caught is a lot of time not even see through. So I find it actually harder to look through a see through thing for divination. So that's just a little tip for me. Like I didn't like that part of this book. Um I say um way too much. Um she does talk about meditation with non see through crystal. She says that's the only way you can use non see through crystal. Crystal ball, sorry. Um, I disagree. Like I said, I use a non see through crystal ball for scouring all the time. Like all the time. Um, she does talk about healing and grounding and stuff like that. The part I love is the symbols in here. You can't see that. But there's all these symbols, and I've seen some of these, a feather. A bird's feather is a symbol of air, so I would interpret that into, if I got, for instance, a bird's feather and a suitcase, I would say, oh, you're going on a trip, or something like that. So I did like that. The doorknob, the dog, like some of these I don't even know, so I sort of looked at. Um, and she does say in here that they can have different meanings. Uh, like, a lot of times I find that, yeah, the dog, um, yeah, the heart means love and emotion. But it could also mean heart surgery or anything. Like, it could mean something to the person. This book. I just heard a bang outside. That's freaky. Okay. This book, not including the bibliography, has 197 pages. Um, it sort of startles me, not startles me, but sort of shocks me that there's a bibliography on the back of the book, which shows that she took some info from other books. So this isn't a completely like, just her book. She's taken information from other books, which is unique. I don't think I've ever seen another book like that. It's quite interesting. I think that would be a fun... I don't know. It was, I don't know if it would be fun, because it's, you do have to write a bibliography. I guess it's different. Um, so, all in all, I think out of five stars, I'd give this book three out of five. Um, one star off for the keep saying that you can't, you can't just look right into a ball, like things like that, and you have to turn in catching the light. That bothered me because I personally scar and I just, I can hold the ball in my hand and just stare at it or have it on the stand on the table or anything. So, yeah. Um, the other reason, I take a, um, mark off or stuff is in the introduction and other parts too I didn't like how it was written it was written almost as if it was a um, as if it was a fake story I think that's yeah fictional story it didn't like it always like the beginning page even 
if I didn't know this was a nonfiction, I would think it was a fiction because it literally starts, Hello, my name is Alexandra and I'm the fortune teller. I said as I arrived, holding my crystal ball, at the home of a woman celebrating her engage of a woman celebrating her engagement, where she had gathered a dozen friends for an intimate celebration. And also, that's all one sentence. I had to breathe in that. I'm just going to do it without breathing. Just breathe in the beginning and then. Hello, my name is Alexandra. I am the fortune teller. I said as I, I, I breathe there. Let's try that again. Hello, my name is Alexandra and I am the fortune teller. I said as I, told him, as I arrived, toting my crystal ball at the home. Let's see, I have to breathe. It, there's run on sentences in here. She didn't want really, like, I love this author. I could not say anything against the author. She just didn't know a lot of her grammar stuff. I'm sorry. I have allergies going on the brain. I know it's winter, but I have winter allergies. And what I always love, though, about Lily Ellen books, once again, I'm probably saying that wrong, is it always tells you there is a free, you can get a free catalog whenever you want. I love that. I have them all over my um, e-reader. And they tell you other books similar to this book. Like, this is one I want to read, The Divination for Beginners by Scott Cunningham. So all in all, I recommend this book, Ishley. I recommend it a bit. Like, I bought this book new. I would not pay the $16.95 that I paid for it. I regret that. But all in all, I do think it's a good book. I don't think you should take it all. You, should, you shouldn't listen to all the information at once. Um, so yeah, I'm off to The Hobbit now. I get to go watch The New Hobbit. That's why I'm all dressed differently than usual. Look at my awesome shot. Can you see that? There's a peace sign. Sorry, I love the shot. <laughs> um, this is my brand new jacket and stuff. So I'm off to The Hobbit. I hope you had a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And...